difference does it make if the reef stays out there? After all, all it does is catch waves. The waves are very destructive. If those waves aren't breaking on the reef, they'd be breaking right here. And if they're breaking right here, they're breaking on the seawall, they're breaking on the road abutment, they're breaking in front of houses. And so those reefs actually do an enormous service to keep the waves far from shore. What makes the reefs? The corals make the reefs. What happens if the corals stop growing? Well, it's rock. You think the rock's going to stay there, no problem. But in fact, there's lots of organisms that over the millions of years have figured out how to eat that rock. They burrow into it to, to make homes. They chew through it in order to get food. And they aren't dying. They are still out there. So the reef growth will stop but the reef erosion will keep going. And, and when that happens, instead of the reef slowly growing, it slowly sinks. Part of the reason to try to protect reefs is to protect their growth and keep that balance the way it is. These reefs that are out here right now have been growing for uh, half a million years, and we want to keep that balance in the coral reef's favor so that it continues to grow and thrive. So how long will it be before those waves aren't there but here? How long will it be before those waves start hitting the road abutments and the houses because the coral reef isn't there? Oh, it's going to be decades. It's not going to take, you know, it's not going to be that fast that the reef erodes that far down, but it'll happen. <laughs>